All right. What is up, guys? The draft. Final league draft for FBW leagues. This is the Invitational League. Uh, with some of our friends from the media, uh, some you know, other friends from NBA-related businesses or um, you know, whether it's the media or, or whatever. Uh, I'll introduce them one by one. So Ken of MBBL picks first. And then Eric Pamish picks second. Charles. A very good friend of ours. It's third. Coach Sandy, Aris Pakachaga, I'm sure you know him. Uh, he picks fourth. Pat Larocco of Next Level Fantasy, follow them. He picks fifth. Ruben Terrado of Spin.ph picks sixth. Ryan Daidisan of Fantasy Basketball Crew picks seventh. Then me. Then Joao Pablo, then Jeff of Buhay Basket, Viz Gutierrez of Hall of Fame Authentics, um, and then Felix Acuna of Unbox PH, Eric Ong, Mr. Roto Manster, follow him, and finally, 14th pick is D. Joey Villar. Who is um, from the Philippine Star? All right, let's go. Um, all right, so I am eight pick, and I'm actually looking at Steph. I'm pretty sure the others would be picked first. I'm looking at Steph because I don't have Steph stocks yet. This might be a good way to practice or, or do. We came because at the eight eight spot where he usually goes. All right, Luca Charles goes Luca. I think he really thought about that. Coach Sandy's picking next. Coach Sandy wants to redeem himself in this league. Uh, we used to have Naveen Ganglani who begged off this year, but we appreciate. Having him for the past couple of invitationals. Uh, this is also at the highest buy in league and of all the FPWDs. Hmm, interesting, these guys taking some time. All right, Coach Sandy takes Tyrese. If Steph gets picked, uh, I might go Yanis. Yeah. So this is going to be the crucial part. Ah. So Steph got picked. Um. I'm not sure if I have the mellow. I don't want to go KD. Uh, I have Dame, I have Kyrie, I have one Yanis. Let's just go with that. All right, I'm going Yanis here. I really wanted Steph. You know, one thing about Steph, as I was trying to read some notes about him, I can't believe he's 35, and that's one hesitation I have being 35 you know, is not good in the NBA because you know, the rest would be a lot more uh, but we'll see so Yanis um, let's see if I want the free throws here I might have to um, I don't have a Wembanyama stock and the way some managers have been picking him in the second round. Maybe this is a good time to pick him. Uh, let's see. So Joao gets Dame. Okay, let's see where we're picking next. All right, so.
I'm looking at possibly. I also don't have a Jared Jackson stock, so maybe if I should get Jared Jackson. Let's see. Let's, let's play it by ear or you know adjust as we go. Um, this is the last, like I said. Viz goes Anthony Davis. I am with Viz in the Buhai Basket League. And uh, he also he picked Anthony Davis there. He is a big Lakers fan. So I wouldn't be surprised by that pick. Plus, like we've been saying, you know, one to eleven, I think it's constantly those same guys. Uh, when you get to 12, 13, 14, there are it's a matter of preference on how or, or how you see certain players. Um, safest maybe Sabonis. He is the guy that's usually there. And then, yeah, well, KD was Eric. Oh, Eric picks Jaron Jackson first. That's he must be really high. But you know, I I, I also don't blame him. He might get when we hear on the next. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. I know he wants one. Jaron Jackson plus Wemby. Now let's see what Joey would do. Joey, who is also part of one of our public leagues, got Wemby at the 28th pick in that league, if I'm not mistaken, or 27. So he gets a bonus in three. All right. So let's see. Oh, he went with Mikal. Still could not. Let's see. Okay, I won't. I won't pick. Uh, wanted Jaron Jackson, but. So now. To go, Kyrie Booker. Go Bing. Uh, let's see, Kyrie, if you suddenly don't hear anything, because I'm thinking long and hard about these things. Hmm, interesting. So Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Davis. KD and Kyrie has been a very common combination that I've seen. I've got three guys here that I'm eyeing. Um, usually in the second round. All right, I'm having some problems. With my browser. All right, hold on. I don't know what happened.
All right. All right, I'm back, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but I got auto-picked. Good thing I had someone on the queue. And yeah. I booker. I booker in the queue, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, let's see, let's see. Still not too bad. Not too bad. Um, at least I get scoring there. Now let's see where when Banyama gets picked. Here. Because... Can go at too many miles. But if he gets to me, I'm gonna make him. But I doubt he might he will. I doubt he will. But let's see. Um, if not, we can go Mobley as well, or or we can just focus a little bit on some scoring. Get driven down. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew he wouldn't get. To me. So when Banyama got hit, uh, let's see who gets picked next. Just put some logos in there. Let's 
to finish get star discordant. Um, I'm thinking. I'm looking at either Miles, Mobley. I think those are the guys that I'm eyeing at this point. So Charles gets James Harden. So what Sandy had Tyrese and Cade. So let's see where he goes here. Smiles. So good Shandy gets Mowgli. Uh, so apparently, okay, so I might, I'm thinking if I should go score it. Uh-huh. Okay. Looking at this steps here. Or okay. so I went with three stops and then Um, I'm thinking if I should go three center lineup with Kessler or Claxton because they, they run out of fast. So that would give me good rebounding blocks. Yeah, no, the thing is I get a little bit of scoring threes there. I might punt assist here now. I might punt assist this point so let's see um so after Christophs we got Siakam who's next chip ooh that's gonna get spit okay we have to pivot a bit if somehow Kessler gets picked. Okay, 
see this method by the um, or I can go by it. Let's copy here. So Joey with his guard lineup. Apparently Joey likes picking guards. Uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, the past couple of years he's had a very guard heavy lineup. I didn't notice the other leagues, uh, the other league race he's in. I'm guessing Eric is punting the points and trees at this point. Or not really punting trees because I think the more of the points. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he's punting assist here. He's punting assist. All right, we'll put Brunson. I think I'm going to go. Yeah, so I can get a little more scoring. And then... This got pool. Gets next year. Um, yeah, I'm still leaning towards Kessler. Um, so I could get blocks. Not a heavy point on scoring. Uh, as well, so let's see. Person gets picked. Let's just hope Jeff doesn't get just here. I might end up wanting assist here. If not, oh, we went with the bro. Let's see where Joel goes. That's Scotty. So yeah, looking at just her. Let's go big. Let's go big. Let's go big now. Uh, next players to target. 
maybe we could go Jalen, we need a little bit of scoring, so maybe we could go Basel. Uh, I think we should be Randall here. I normally don't, but yeah, I don't mind that. <coughs> or Tyler Hero. I kind of like Tyler Hero, actually. Um, Maxi Vucevic pick Tyrese. Who's a bitch who's been very um many people are not as high on Vucevic this year with other centers emerging, younger centers. That's why I when I learned about Steph being 35, I also have my I also second guess myself if I should pick him. But good thing someone picked him for me before me. All right, Bradley Beal. Charles gets Bradley Beal at 54. So this is the last, and we have what 17 leagues in total. So we've gone through 17 drafts. Well, personally, I've gone through like 11 drafts. Fantasy Dash Warriors. Uh, also, as we were waiting for Komish to get picked, get get his pick. We also uploaded the depth charts, another episode of our depth chart analysis, as well as some preseason, um, some preseason observations. So this is interesting because this is my second Yanis team. And it's a different build because I got M Booker and then Chris Tops. I not really the type of build that I did last time. Um, yeah, but let's see how this ends up. Uh, And this is the, also the first year I picked Yanis. You know, there are certain players that I picked so many times already in a bunch of drafts. Uh, I think Van Fleet is one of those players that I've been picking a lot of. Um, I've had a few Shays, a couple of Halley, Burton, a couple of MB uh, I think I don't have a Lamello, if not. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have one, but I might have just one. So comment down below. A player that you might notice yourself picking far too many times. Um, so we'll get some guards here, fill out some of our spots. I am looking at maybe, wait, let me see. I don't have a Zion, but I don't think I have too much centers over it. Uh, I might pick Kiddy here. If he's going to be available. Um, another player is Vassell. Let's see, but if Randall is available, I might pick Randall. 
Oh no, I might go get it. Charles going Zion Harden. Two kind of risky players, although Zion look good today. Look really good. Um and you know, he looks healthy. He looks really, he looks quite healthy. I think they'll put it, they'll manage him early, but um uh, eventually I think All right, so hopefully Giddy gets to me. Um, if not, then we might go. Jalen. Tim Simons gets picked. Oh no, if I think we Randall had too many rebounds there. All right, heroes, the other choice I wanted. Randall, though, 64 is kind of. Jalen gets picked. I get to be. Uh, I don't have Giddy this year yet, so I need a few assists, some trees. I want some little, but we can get trees later on. It's easier to get trees uh, later on, so yeah, let's do this. One thing I've learned over the past few drafts is always go with the first option. You know, whatever the first player that you thought about, the first player that you wanted to pick, just go with that person, especially if they're available. So because you know I always end up second there are times where I second guess my first choice and when that happens I end up not um, I end up kind of regretting not getting that player just because um, yeah, you, the what if. Right? So always go with the first option first. Always go first option. Anyway, uh, we are round five. This is a 12th rounder. Let's see, quick look at the standings here. Uh, we're down there, but I guess we are punting. Yeah, the free throw is a little bit bad. But it's okay. No, we're okay. We need to get some steals in. Let's 
we're gonna target next cam here but I won't be surprised if I fix him here no but he has a couple of protein guys here um, two times Be okay. See, I told you. We've been playing far too long. What, three, four years? Four years in. Right? I know he likes camp. So, three Brooklyn guys. Should be okay. Solid though. All right, so now we're going to try to not kill too much of our free throws or uh, our field goal. Oh, the one was perfect for my team. Uh, yeah, let me just fill out some of these slots. Derek White goes at 72. Yeah. If Derek White started, they started Derek White today. I don't know if that sticks, uh, but that's probably going to be their you know, quote unquote best five, but it's going to be kind of a small five there. Brown playing the power forward. Um, but yeah, White, today they started White. Drew Tatum and Brown with Kristaps. So very interesting five men. I, I don't think there's any team um, who has I think the Celtics, if they, that's what they're gonna go with in the starting five, I think they have the best starting five in the league. At least the name value and you know, these guys are can be top guys. Well, except for me, they're quite true, but they've got three alpha there that can you know three players that can be alpha in their own team. So yeah. Um this is up. In one of our deck charts, we talked about Paolo Banquero. So if, if I'm not mistaken, that was... Uh, if not, I think that's the last episode. I haven't uploaded that, but yeah. All right, Tayus got picked. So let's see.
I could go Chris Paul. I don't mind going Chris Paul. Another player I've been picking a lot is Markel Fultz. Uh, I actually kind of like him this year. Ah, just pulled up it. Darn it. Michael Marcus Mark is next to No, you can go for it. Rather get quotes than um yeah so at least that can help with our steals. Field goal is still going to be good. I can go to bias here. Favorite Komish knows that I like this, I like where this is going. Gafford is another player I don't have a lot of stocks of or any stocks of. Uh, another player high on other people's list. Uh, we'll go. All right, let's see where we go next. Uh, if Tobias is. If Tobias was picked. Yeah. No, Tobias hasn't been picked. So we might go Tobias uh, or. We can go Wiggins. Weekends fit. Um, Middleton might fit. Right. Let's see. See standings. We're doing okay. Not too bad. Punting free throw, but well, we'll get three later. Chris Paul was the guy I was looking at. So, need a few more assists. New three drones. Actually, D low, I kind of like as well. Uh, I 
this year. Mish gets rosier. So back to back picks for Ken. Ken was the first winner. Oh, this is just the fourth. Is this? I think this is, yeah, this is the third. Third invitationals. Ken was the first winner. I won last year thanks to Jokic. Um, and yeah, this year, let's see. So what's surprising so far? Nothing surprising, to be honest. Um, nothing different. These guys know what they're doing. Okongu may be a little too high, but that's what I think yeah, Ken knows what he's doing. That's the thing. These guys know what they're doing. All of these guys are, you know, no one's really going to go crazy. The fact that when Banyama picked third round, first picked third round, uh, you know, no one went crazy. Like, I think second round is not crazy, but less the value isn't there. That's, that's good. First round is crazy. Uh, Zion, even after today, is still in that fifth round range. Uh, I kind of expected him to move a little higher, move up a bit. Ken loaded big, went big as well with Kobe, Jalen Durin. Your pitch and Victor. So he's not going to be punting blocks here. Um, he is, though, he might be punting assists as well. Ooh, Komish went, went high with Jabari Smith. All right, let's see. Uh, I still kind of like Tobias. Here, help my free throws a bit, but uh, I might need, let's see if I can get a few more assists here. So I might need to read Jones as another target. Just because I might need a bit of assist. Marcus Smart is still there. Thinking I should get him instead of three Jones. Let's read the names of Marcus Smart. Let's go three Jones. I don't have any three Jones yet, so let's see. Ah. Why? Why does it always happen like that? Uh, 
Uh, I'm thinking if I should just go Middleton here. 92. What's the latest on Middleton? Ooh, Bruce Brown goes 91st. That's a lot of weight word. Two should be okay, right? What I don't like about Smart is that he might be hoisting a bunch of trees. I can just go. Angelo for the assist. No one wants middle. Okay, yeah, well, three was my first choice. That didn't pan out well. I just want to improve on certain categories. So next is uh, do Zach Collins. Actually, if Mitch Rob would be available, I'm gonna. Go big here. Who do I stand? Damn, I really wanted three. Wait a minute. All right, anyway. Okay, let's focus on the next move. Uh, where did we go? Or it's a calling track pick. Middle for middle on falls to hundreds. I'm gonna pick him. Not then. Yeah, I can go really big.
don't think I should go regions. All right, let's see. 105. Eight round, John Moran gets picked. At what is that? 96th. Right, who's gonna be next? So Keegan Murray gets picked hundred two. I'm looking at either Wiggins or go really big. Let's see. Wiggins is one of my options. Uh, and the other is go really big with Mitch Rob. Then unfortunately we can't get any more assist here. Let's go really big. And then the assists were not too bad though. So what we'll probably do is We're okay. We're okay. okay. All right. So the next target is oh, Gary Trent got picked. Just looking at Gary Trent the next round. Um, yeah, we can go another guard. He doesn't shoot poorly. Oh, 
for the Josh Hart, who I haven't had the chance of picking yet. So we can get, get the steals up. Solid assist numbers. Or you can always go for SAR. My favorite, but I let's see, he's gonna get picked. I wouldn't be surprised if Kumish picks him. See, told you. No, it that's the only chance. He's been going there at the 110, 120 range. Um, yeah, given the Ken still lacks a few, what, maybe a guard? Yeah, well, he won't, he won't, he won't pick a sorry. I don't think he will pick a sorry. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, Josh Hart is going to be our target. If not Josh Hart, we're going to go Mike Conley. I mean, Mike Conley is going to be one of our targets. If not, Josh Hart. All right, so we are at round nine, if I'm not mistaken. Hope you guys, comment below a few things. One, a player that you've always been picking. Find yourself picking probably your favorite um, player. And two, a player who you feel will do well this year, but they haven't really had a chance to pick, especially in the middle rounds, here in some way. So Ken went, then Reedy and PJ Washington, again, these are veteran managers, nothing surprising so far in these uh, picks. Charles picking next, he went Ben Simmons, he went really all out on some of these uh, players, Zion, Ben Simmons, Clay, Robert Williams, Paul Reed, he went Paul Reed. So I haven't had a Trey Murphy. You know what? Westbrook actually fits my team. Westbrook fits my team. Uh, it's kind of perfect for my team. I don't know if I should pick him. I own but I'm going to Ashwari. Hopefully he does not get picked. Finally.
hard punt on threes, free throw. All right. Round 10. Heading into round 10. Now let's try some other guys. Okay. What method do we have a head? my score a little bit. Improve a little bit of my field goal free throws. So I can also do the shoulder. Maybe she then. Westbrook will fit my team. Get the steels up a bit. You can go herb. Doesn't hurt you too much. I'm tempted to go Russell Westbrook here. If he gets to me, I think. Uh, he's going to be okay. Because my field goal is really good. So, yeah. I don't think it would hurt a lot. I hope not. But, yeah. But here's the thing, too. If you want. To get a little more trees, so let's see if there's a more well rounded player that can give me those. Shoulder is the other guy. So I'm looking at Schroeder and Westbrook. And then Oh, shoulder gets big, makes my life easier. Amen. Amen.
All right. I don't think uh, Joel would pick Westbrook, so yeah. Let's go. Russell Westbrook, first time ever. I'm not going to pick him. How bad was Q my free throw? Here you go. Can't be that bad. There we go. Let's see how bad it is. Killed my feet. Here we go. Ooh, that was pretty bad. Bad hit, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah. My first ever Westbrook.
Thank you.